So now we're going to be looking at how we solve improper integrals. So in general, when you have improper integrals, it means integrals that usually go over um, like approaching an asymptote or approaching infinity. So in this case, exponential curves, you know, they, they look they look pretty normal, but I'm doing an integral to infinity. And so the way you want to do this formally is you're going to say, well, I'm going to make this the limit as some parameter c goes to infinity of the integral from 0 to c e to the 5 minus 2x dx. So th that's what we mean. Instead, we're just going to integrate to some value c and then see what happens as c approaches infinity and if that converges to a particular value or not. Okay, so let me shrink this a little bit. Okay, and so then this is going to be equal to, actually, sorry about that. Um, well, how are we going to do this integral? Well, we could do a u substitution. u is equal to 5 minus 2x. du is equal to, uh, du is equal to negative 2 uh, dx. And so there's going to be a negative 1 half factor. So this is going to be the limit c goes to, well, let's, let's do this integral separately. So I'm just make this as a sub problem. e to the 5 minus 2x dx is going to be negative 1 half e to the 5 minus 2x evaluated from 0 to c. Right, because the derivative of this, the negative two, would cancel this negative one half uh, when I take the derivative, and so I would get negative one half e to the five minus two c. Okay, minus e to the z. Uh, when I plug in zero, it's just five. So that's equal to negative one half. Um, I can factor out e to the well. This is going to be e to the five e to the minus two c minus e to the 5. I can factor out an e to the 5. So it's negative 1 half e to the 5, e to the 2c minus 1. And so now we're going to take the limit as c goes, oh, sorry, this is a negative 2c. Uh, limit as c goes to infinity of, of this expression, negative 1 half e to the 5, e to the minus 2c minus 1. And so we're going to say, well, exponentials, e to a negative giant big number is going to be 0. Because this is like 1 over e to the 2c, right? And e to a, a big number is going to be a big number. 1 over a big number is really small, 0. So then this is going to be negative 1 half e to the fifth, 0 minus 1. That's negative 1 times this is 1 half e to the fifth. Okay. Let's do this next one. Kind of a similar thing here. Um, we're going to take the limit. You can use C. You can use any letter you want. Uh, I, I typically use C. And so this integral, 1 to C, x to the minus 4 dx, is equal to, um, I'm going to add 1 divided, so x to the negative 3 divided by negative 3, evaluate from 1 to C. And so that's, um, I'll bring out the negative 1 third. It's going to be c to the negative 3 minus 1 to the negative 3. And that becomes 1 over c cubed minus 1. Because 1 to the negative 3 is still just 1. Okay, so now I'm going to evaluate the c as c goes to infinity for this expression. As c goes to infinity, this is going to go to 0. Negative 1 third, 0 minus 1. So that's negative one third times negative one or positive one third. Okay. So again here, but this time we're gonna do the limit as c goes to negative infinity, right? Because here's here's what I need to replace with c. C to zero, two to the x dx. So let's do this integral. The integral from c to zero, two to the x dx. Remember, the integral of uh, derivative of, of 2 to the x is just 2 to the x times the natural log of 2. So it's 2 to the x over natural log of 2. Evaluate it from c to 0. So that's 2 to the 0. Well, I can factor out the 1 over ln of 2 first and make this 2 to the 0 minus 2 to the c. And so uh, 2 to the 0 is just 1. So this is 1 over ln of 2 of 1 minus 2 to the c. And now, oops. We want to take the limit as c goes to negative infinity of 1 over ln of 2, 1 minus 2 to the c. As c goes to negative infinity, 2 to a negative big number is going to be 0. So this is 1 over ln of 2, 1 minus 0, and that's just equal to 1 over ln of 2. 
Alright. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I go through a lot more of these exact kinds of problems with much longer videos uh, on my website. It's entirely free. Check out the link in the description below.